Well, tomorrow is the start of colorectal cancer awareness month, and it's important to know some of the signs and symptoms. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen spoke with a local doctor and survivor about the importance of getting tested. Almost. As Megan Wallace plays golf, she breathes a sigh of relief. Yeah. <laughs> She's visiting from Twin Cities, Minnesota, and has been playing golf for years. Unfortunately, last summer I didn't get to play. I was going through chemo. That chemo, six rounds for colon cancer, and later on, surgery. I was, I was very scared. Um, it really kind of just, you know, threw me off my game. That game, not golf, but her health, getting diagnosed in February of last year after taking a color guard test, a colonoscopy confirming it. I didn't have symptoms, um, and... Uh, it just was really difficult at first. Dr. John Shackleton with Northwest Healthcare says some patients don't have symptoms, but people can experience abdominal pain, constipation, anemia, bloody diarrhea, and weight loss. A routine screen colonoscopies are done at age 45. It used to be age 50. He says that's because there's an increasing risk of colon cancer. 50% of colon cancer is probably genetic, meaning uh, there's a strong family history of it. As for other factors, he says it could be related to a person's diet. Shackleton says the earlier they catch it, the easier it is to treat it. <laughs> now living with no evidence of the disease. There you go, it's like pot pot. Wallace is one of the survivors being honored in the Color Guard Ooh. Classic, which is raising awareness for colon cancer. Yes. And one thing she knows for sure, <sighs> putting your health first is important. A colonoscopy is so much easier than chemo. Reporting in Tucson, Andrew Christensen, Kega 9 on your side.